Hey everybody, welcome back. This is uh, week two in semester three. We've got our first test in rotary drilling. So we're not going to cover everything. This is just a quickie study guide. Um, but here's a list of everything you need to know. So if you study your notes, you should be okay. Here we go. This is our mud reservoir where we keep all our mud, do our testing from, and mixing in. The reservoir is separated by barriers, these being walls that do not come up to the top of the water level. What this does is allow the solids to settle on one end, they fall to the bottom, and allow the water to flow over top of them. These capture the larger solids, but sands still are able to pass through. So that's why we need our desander. This is our desander, which works on the principle of centrifugal force. What happens is, the water is forced into the desander, not in the middle of it, you can see the hose is kind of at the side, so that forces the water to swirl around which forces the sand to the outside and it falls out the bottom while the water is forced out the top. Here we see our mud hopper. This mixes our bentonite with the Venturi principle. It takes about 7 to 14 minutes to mix a bag of bentonite. The colder it is, the longer it takes to mix. From the reservoir, the mud is pumped up this thicker white hose and it can go one of three directions. It could come back through this red line and go to either the desander or the mud hopper and back into the reservoir. It can go down the hole, remove the cuttings, and come back up and down the spout and back into the reservoir, or it can be released through the pressure relief valve. So as our mud is sucked up our hose, it goes down the piping, past the pulsation dampener, and slightly downgrade to our pump. This is a positive displacement piston pump. It is a 5 by 6 which means it has a 5 inch piston with a 6 inch travel. It has two cylinders. This pushes the liquid mud down a line past a second pulsation dampener then on down the line. The pulsation dampeners do exactly that. Dampen the pulses. The flow coming from the pump is not a smooth steady flow because of how the piston pushes the liquid. The dampeners are full of air which is compressible and acts like a shock absorber just like air shocks on a bike. So as the mud travels down the line, it comes to a cross. The direction of flow depends on which ball valve is open. If the top valve is open and the other shut, the mud will travel up the drill string and down through the hole, removing the cuttings. Here's another look at that whip check. It's a safety feature in case that hose comes undone. If the lower ball valve is open and the upper shut, the mud then travels down this red hose where it goes into the desander or the mud hopper and back into the reservoir. If the pump is running and both ball valves are closed, the pressure will build up until the pressure relief valve releases it by shearing a nail and allowing the mud to flow, relieving the pressure. So remember, when taking samples, take at the middle depth at the suction end. The mud balance measures density in pounds per gallon. Water is 8.34 pounds per gallon and our readings should be between 8.34 and 9 pounds per gallon. The sand content should be less than 2%, the pH should be between 8.5 and 9.5, the hardness should be less than 100, and the viscosity should be between 32 to 38 seconds per quart or higher when necessary. Water is 26 seconds per quart. So look at your notes, study everything, study the procedures, don't forget your watch, good luck. Thank you.